Hello and welcome to the Dorbert Lab. Today we want to show you how to wire a multi-tenant module to install an individual intercom system. My name is Pascal and first of all, let's start with the components. The first component is a front panel. With five pre-installed buttons and name plates. Each button must be wired with four cables. We already prepared two cable guides to arrange the wiring, which you can do later as well. The next component is the MTM14E multi-tenant module, with which up to 14 push buttons can be connected. For the wiring we use four core cables, to which we later connect the individual ports of the MTM14E with the push buttons. Next up is the Dorbert D21 Engineering Edition, the heart of the system. If you want to see more details of what is included in the D21 Engineering Edition, take a look at our unboxing video on YouTube. After we prepared all the components, we are now starting with assembling. When working with the stainless steel front panel, we advise you to use a soft pad as a base to avoid scratches. First, we attach the gasket to the D21 Engineering Edition. Remove the upper part of the film from the seal and attach it to the device. Press a little and then carefully remove the rest of the film. When the gasket fits well, apply pressure from top to bottom until it is firmly attached to the device. Now we prepare the MTM14E. For easier cabling, we remove the green connectors from their slots. The first two slots are the input contact, followed by the power supply, minus and plus. The connectors on the button are wired the same way, plus, opposite, minus, and between them the input contacts. Now we prepare the wiring. To facilitate further processing, we separate the ends from each other and remove the insulation of the individual cables as required. After that, we start with the wiring. For a better overview, we always wire one push button with a connector first and plug it back into the MTM14E before we start with the next button. While the connection order of the two input contacts doesn't matter, the plus and the minus contacts must not be interchanged. Please mind, you can only use third-party call buttons operating with 5, 9 or 12 volt and using LED illumination. The power provided by the device is not sufficient for call buttons with other illumination types. Please check with your call button manufacturer on specific details. After all push buttons are wired, we carefully place the D21 Engineering Edition on the front panel so that the camera lens and the sensor cover fit neatly into the cutout. We use the cleaning cloth to clean a part of the backside of the front panel, to which we then attach the MTM14E with the Velcro tape. By using Velcro tape, you can easily remove the MTM14E from the front panel in case of further maintenance. If not already done, attach the cable guides in order to arrange the wiring. Connect the D21 Engineering Edition to the multi-tenant module. Then, fasten the device to the front panel using the mountain brackets. Important, make sure that you set the correct voltage on the MTM14E for the installed push buttons. As a last step, we connect the Phoenix connector of the D21 Engineering Edition with our power supply. Check one last time that all cables are tight and correctly connected before supplying power to the device. Now the unit is ready to be installed. If you have any further questions or if you need more information, go to dollbell.com. Thank you and see you next time.